Expressing the intensity of your masculinity allows you to hold the space and to accept the intensity of the feminine. Because as the feminine craves to be everything in front of you, you must also crave for her to do that. Because as you develop the intensity within yourself, the feminine bows to you out of respect. Hey guys, this is Sonny Solo for The Natural Lifestyles and welcome. I'm by a lake in New York City and I just want to talk to you about expressing the hidden power that's inside of you right now. There's a power inside of you right now that you're unaware of. And this whole video is about just helping you understand what it means to express power, what it means to express intensity. Because a part, about, a part of being masculine that many men uh, shy away from, and this is the reason why you know, women tend to walk all over men or they tend to give men chaos in their life, is because men are actually afraid to express the strong sides of masculinity or the strong side of the masculine, the intense side of the masculine. The intense side of the masculine is being able to allow yourself to express energy in an, ex an explosive way in any direction, in a, in a direction towards something. And being able to do that separates you from other men who are very afraid of the woman and afraid even of her strong side and her uh, dark side, so to speak. And dark side in a good way. And being able to be a man who can express that would draw women to you who are more feminine. Women who are more feminine will have the openness to express their uh, love more, their softness more, their sexuality more, but at the same time, their intensity more and their destructiveness more and their wildness in moments of storms. They have the whole range and they need a man who also can be the whole range of the masculine. So the masculine, of course, is stillness. The masculine, of course, is being able to be clear and go in a direction towards something, going after something that you want. But what about the dark side or the, or the strong side or the intense side of the masculine, where you have to express your boundaries in a clear way, in a very, very clear way that can bring resistance towards you? What about when you have to be honest with somebody and you know that it actually hurts you and it actually feels hurtful to you to even say it? and you know that you may hurt them. What about when a woman is standing in front of you in the bedroom and she has ravishing eyes, she has eyes that want to be taken and you need to be able to take her with the ferocity of your intent, with the ferocity of your sexual, sexual intent. <clears throat> My journey in this with uh, expressing the intense side of my masculinity has been a very, very profound and changing journey. It has been very, very deep for me because I wasn't always a person who did express that. And I wasn't always a person who sexually did things to show her that I wanted to take her when she wanted to be taken. And I had some hard times with this. I had some very, very hard times. And I can see why many men out there are actually afraid to express that part because it's quite scary. It's very, very fucking scary for a man to start expressing these intense parts about himself because it means that people will may, may see him in a scary light. People may actually be intimidated by him. He might not be the nice person that he perceives himself to be. And when somebody is disidentified with a nice thing about them, that means that they have to change into something else or they have to adjust themselves and adapt to the other part of themselves that they're not expressing. <clears throat> so they tend to shy away from that part. And I want to tell you guys that the same thing that you're, that you're shying away from is the same thing that you need to express. You're shying away from the intense parts of yourself because you're afraid of intensity. That's really what it is. You're afraid of expressing the parts of yourself that wants to be clear. The part of yourself that wants to cut through the bullshit. You are afraid of expressing that. That is the reason why you can't handle the emotions of women. You can't handle the changing emotions that women give you moment to moment. From the moment that you go to do the approach to the moment that you're in a relationship or an open relationship 
or you're in a situation where a woman is giving you something that's random and that's kind of out of context in a way. You're like, why is she growing up like this or why is she acting like this when I'm just being this way? And that same why is she being like this and frustration around it is the same thing that's stopping you from being able to be penetrative in that moment to be able to as she's acting in whatever way she wants, remain still and penetrative in a way of you, of the way of you that you're being. You being penetrative in a in a way that if a woman is standing there, she's like, "Oh no, oh man, I can't believe that you chose this direction. We could have walked that way. That way is better." Okay, stop. I know that way seems better, but this way is better. All right, let's walk this way. And you just allow yourself to cut through the bullshit of the moment. <clears throat> being able to do that will be. Uh, a profound thing to your life. Being, <clears throat> being able to do that, forgive me for my grinding because I feel like something in my throat. Being able to do that, you're going to uh, start to attract the parts of women that submit to you, the parts of women that wants to be taken by you, the parts of women that really need some control. You're going to be able to do that because you're not afraid of that intensity in her, because you're not afraid of the intensity in yourself. So never forget this, as much as you're afraid of the intensity within yourself or expressing the intensity within yourself, you'll be just as afraid of receiving the intensity from a woman. The moment that she gives you intensity, you will feel like you're up against the wall. You will feel like she's walking all over you. You will feel like she's completely a bitch. You will feel like she's a mean woman. And in essence, she's not. She's just expressing an intense part about her personality. And you need to be able to adjust that with the intense part of your personality. You will attract a woman who's as heart-connected and being intense as your heart-connected and you being intense. Sometimes when a woman is being intense with you, it is because she wants you to step up and be intense back. So she'll do things even to the point where she'll just, she'll, she'll do things that is not right for the moment and she'll do things out of context so you can be able to penetrate her so you can be able to give her the intensity of who you are the intensity of your masculine the power that lies inside of you she wants that she's craving the power that you're not giving her women out there are just looking at men and going why can't they just give me the hardcore sex and how why can't they just give me the intensity the power in the moments that I need it how come when I'm going through these moves like this he can't just tell me to shut up grab me and kiss me why can't he do that because he's fucking afraid and you guys are actually afraid of this and i know why because i used to be the same way and i remember when i was younger and i was having sex with this girl and i was having sex with her and i was doing a doggy style and as i'm doing a doggy style she says to me oh just grab my tits or something and it was a profound shift in my mind it was really 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 fucking important for me to understand this moment at first i was like oh my god this girl is just fucking crazy but what it was is that she wanted me to express the power that was inside of me. She wanted to be taken in that moment. She wanted to be wanted so deeply that I fucking rip her to shreds with the power of my intensity of wanting her. She wanted that in that moment. And your ability to be able to show your intensity will be your ability to be able to handle a woman. You will never be able to truly handle women in the way you want to if you're not if you're always afraid to show your intensity you'll never be able to and this is a wake-up call to you of the thing that's inside of you that you want to express just lies there inside of you it is it's not that you have to get it outside of yourself it's not that you have to go to some workshop and learn about intensity or some workshop to have to learn about I mean you, you could if you want to because it's a help but to right now where you are in this moment being able to express power, it comes from the same place that I'm expressing right now. It comes from here. Being able to be low, like I always say in my other videos about being grounded, being able to express intent, being able to be in your consciousness, which lies here. Being able to just sit here, that's in your lower abdomen, all the way down to your pelvic floor. Being able to sit in this area, and the moments that you feel something, express it from that area. Express anger from that area. I couldn't express anger. This year when I let go of reading books for the entire year so I can go within and find my own truth, I completely came to that I had troubles expressing anger. And what, what, what did I have that was connected to that? I thought that in expressing anger, that type of intensity that's connected to anger, <coughs> 
I really thought that that meant I was a bad person because every time I saw anger expressed when I was little, the, re the result was violence, whether it be through family, uh, through friends, through the being around in the hood, being in my school. Every time I saw anything intense, with intense expressed as far as anger, I was like, oh my God, something's gonna happen bad. So inside of me, I would go, if I express that, that means I'll do something bad. And that's not the truth. So I had to understand that expressing anger is okay. Expressing anger to the velocity that it needs is okay. And that's really what it's about. Is that when you feel something, are you willing to express it to the velocity that it is due? Sometimes the velocity is just, okay, that's enough, I'm, I'm done with this. When you talk to somebody. And that's from the place of you not being reactive, but it's just like, okay, I'm done with this. Or sometimes it's just, all right, understand that this moment right now, I would like for you to treat me in a better way. And this, this is you allowing yourself to express it in the velocity it needs. Or sometimes when you're there with your woman and she's just going through this upset, you just go, hey, baby, come here. And you go in and you just go straight in and you kiss her. But the hey, it shocks her into this moment. Because the, the velocity that's needed in that moment allow it to come out. I'm not talking about being out of control where you're just expressing the anger that comes inside of you or the intensity that comes inside of you with, a, with, with, with no fucking control at all. But what I am talking about is controlled rage or controlled fucking expression. Expression that's in a direction. And one of the best ways I heard this was explosion in direction. It's the, same, it's the thing that Andy said and it was so amazing. And it just it sums this up so easily is that what you're doing is that you're expressing whatever you want to express not in an out of control way where you're just all over the place it's in a certain direction that you're going you're expressing the thing that you want to in towards something you're not just doing it so that everybody around you can be like oh god you know is he talking to me no you're doing it to the person that you're in front of and you're not doing it so that they may actually feel what you're doing you're doing it because it's the thing you want to express so I hope you can latch on to what I'm saying in this video Expressing your power is about learning how to express intensity. And that intensity that you express, it actually may start to become intimidating and you need to be okay with that. And at the same time, understand that you don't wanna fall beneath your own power by going, okay, this person feels intimidated or this person feels like this, so I'm never gonna do that again. No, just understand that yes, they feel intimidated, that's their own shit that they have to deal with. And at the same time, I can still be empathetic I don't have to be like, oh, they're intimidated, that's them. Yeah, I'm the boss over them. No, that's not the attitude. The thing is, is that you express it and allow it to be felt. Allow it to be felt. Don't want it to be felt like, yeah, I'm going to express it so you can feel this. No, express it because that's the way you truly feel and allow it to be felt. And allow yourself to feel what it feels like for them to feel what you have just expressed. Your power is a thing that once you step into then you start to really become influential. And as you guys can see, as my videos are becoming better and better, it's because I've allowed myself to step in my power and I'm allowing myself to express the things about me that means the most to me. Because when I first started out, I was like, man, if I express that idea, are these guys gonna get it? If I express this thing, what if it's fucking too much? What if I express this thing and then it doesn't hit? But I was like, you know what? The fact that I'm coming from a place that resonates with you guys so much, anything that I express, it'll hit you. Whether it hits you with, the, with this thing I say or that thing, at some point, the things that I'm saying in this video will hit you. It will. And allow it to hit you. Allow, to, allow yourself to be affected by the intensity of what I'm giving you. I don't, I don't do this so I can be like, yeah, you know, I'm not trying to get at you. No. I'm doing this because this is the passion that I feel about what it is I'm expressing. Because I know the way that I handle women now. And it's much different than the way I used to handle women five years ago. I'm not afraid of intensity. I'm not afraid of a woman getting upset. I'm not afraid of a woman lashing out. I'm not afraid of a woman's sexual intensity. I'm not afraid of anything that a woman can give me, which means that when I'm around a woman, she shows me the whole range of who she is, and she can see that I'm gonna remain still in the whole range of what you are. Even if you try to pull me from this moment, I'm still gonna remain still. Even if I feel a little bit shaky, I'm going to remain still because I'm not afraid of the intensity inside myself, so I hold space for that inside of me to express, so I hold space for you to express anything you want to express. And that's really the goal, man. That's the goal. Being able to 
express the things that you want with the velocity that's that's needed. Sometimes you want to express it like this. Sometimes you just want to express it like this. But give it the velocity that is needed. And you'll start to notice that you really are stepping into your power. You are. Because you're not afraid of intensity anymore. You're not afraid of the intensity of the feminine. You're not afraid of that. And the feminine is, is the world and women. You're not afraid of the intensity of a person coming up to you and trying to try to start a fight with you. You're not afraid of the chaos that's happening around you because you know that in the middle of chaos, you also can express the intensity that's inside of you as well. Which means that you're gonna get the you're gonna get more range in life. You're gonna get more things coming at you. At the same time, you're not because you have a lot of stillness and it's able to just flow through you and not attach to anything. The masculine power inside of you, the hidden masculine power, can absolutely be expressed. The power inside of you can be expressed if you allow it to come out. The intensity that is due, that whatever you want to express, give it that intensity. And then come back to nothingness. Don't attach yourself to anything. Express it, allow it to come through and then fall back into nothingness. This is the real charm about being a man and expressing his inten the intensity of his masculinity. This is Sony Solo for The Natural Lifestyles and I hope you guys got a lot out of this video. This is a very, very uh, nuanced point. I hope you guys can be able to go out there and express the intensity that lies inside of you. Be able to give that to women when you're in front of them. Not blowing up on women, but being able to express the intensity that they give you, mirror that intensity. Because once you mirror that intensity or clarity that she's giving you, she feels that you can handle her. I want you to subscribe below to Essence of Solo. Uh, I'm enjoying New York City. And I'm enjoying putting these videos out. I'll see you guys in the next video.